Welcome, my friends, my family, my fellow gamers. This is your only friend, these YouTube streets, Porter Rock 77, and I'm here to give you the latest PlayStation news. Today, AMD, creators of the Raytheon uh, series of GPUs and the uh, creator of the RDNA 2 and Zen architecture, officially recognized an exclusive game for the PlayStation 5, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, as an example of what their technology can bring to the next generation of consoles. PlayStation 5 has been leading the charge, providing next generation exclusive experience to their consumer base and gamers that are having an appetite to adopt the next generation technologies. Ratchet and Clank has been uh, being raved a critical acclaim and it's actually um, convincing the industry to realize that yes, exclusives are important and are necessary to truly see what these architectures can do. Despite naysayers over the last year and beyond, who questioned the architecture and Sony's decision into what type of console they created and what type of experience we we're gonna get. Um, so far, Sony, through the conversation games, by letting the games do the talking, they have proven them wrong. Um, credits also due to Mark Cerny and his engineering staff on being at the forefront and thinking ahead and realizing um, that these consoles need to do more than just simply be a resolution bump or a graphics bump. That fundamentally game design has to evolve, you know, and with uh, their focus on SSD and not just SSD, but the architecture, the input output throughput of what the console can do. We are truly seeing the first clear signs of next generation gaming. Ratchet and Clank has already been receiving rage reviews and I am looking forward to playing this game soon. So a hey, good job, Sony. Good job, staff. Mark Cerny, AMD, for putting together um, this great architecture. PlayStation 5 is going to be, it, it is an amazing platform, and I'm just looking forward to, through time, what more can be done. Insomnia Games, kudos to you all. But in further news, um, today, uh, new studio, Deviation Games. Um, if I remember the name, and excuse me, I have to look for a reminder who it is. Dave Anthony and Jason Blundell, um, devs of the former studio of uh, prior uh, Treyarch, um, creators and um, developers of the game um, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, they now formed their own studio and they just formed a partnership with PlayStation Studios to create a new AAA IP. This in conjunction with Firework Studios, um, developers of Destiny, and Jade Raymond, who also announced partnership with PlayStation uh, with her new studio, uh, Haven Studios. This partnership is now showing Sony in investing in new studios to create AAA experiences. There was a little concern about uh, Sony keeping up with uh, Microsoft after their purchase of Bethesda, and uh, people were expecting or wondering uh, if Sony would counter that. It seems Sony is doing more than just countering that. I think they're just way ahead of the game. Um, I think people confuse silence as not doing anything at all, when in reality, Sony is working hard behind the scenes. Um, a while ago, Sony mentioned Jim Ryan, and just Sony PlayStation in general said that they will be double downing on AAA game development, and they're gonna work hard to push as much content um, for the platform as possible. These three new relationships that Sony have just um, nurtured shows that not only they're not just going to simply buy studios to get games on PlayStation, they're actually creating and help create the formation of new studios to get them started. And I in and while buying studios is not a bad plan, I don't want to say that's a bad thing, but nurturing new studios to help create new AAA experiences is how you truly grow the industry. So these partnerships is actually about growth, creating new content, and having more developers out there creating new experiences and new ideas. And Sony's out there funding these projects. So it is a fantastic move on Sony's behalf to actually nurture and establish these partnerships. And at the same time, a lot of these creators who usually will be part and fall under a publisher or, uh, or someone else's development studios, they now going on their own to create their own visions and create their own studios. And Sony's help funding that. And that just leads to more new games by just buying a studio and locking out games from another developer, which is fine because sometimes that's needed. Um, such as you know Sony buying Insomniac, they now provided a way for Insomniac to have better funding, more consistent funding, and you've seen what Insomniac games have done. Another example is Ninja Theory. Normally they will be on their own, and it would just take one bad sell, one bad flop for that studio to go away. Microsoft purchasing Ninja Theory was a great move because now. Now that 
um, studio doesn't have the worry of concern of just having one bad game and now their studio just goes away. So there are times that yes, buying a studio, buying developers, publisher is important, but also nurturing new studios. So when developers want to get together and create their own studio and have an idea of creating a new AAA game, they need backing for somebody. And as you can see, PlayStation is backing um, these studios up for this gen. So I'm looking forward while all these three studios are bringing to the table and using the PlayStation 5 with RDNA 2 architecture, SSD, and everything that um, Mark Cerny and his staff cooked up together. It's going to be an amazing time with the PlayStation 5, okay? I hope you enjoyed this quick news bit. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you stick around. Please hit the like button and subscribe every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. I host the 60 Frames No Light podcast. Great panel, great conversation. Check out the most recent one we had, um, and I hope to see you there. This is your boy, Porter Rock 77 and this is a quick PlayStation news. I'm out of here. Take care. Peace.